All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 18 minus 4. So I want to find the value of this. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 2 to the power of 9 times 2 minus 4. So all I did was I rewrote my x one 18 as 9 times 2. Now, I can use an important property of exponents that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. And now I still have this minus 4. Now 4, I'm going to rewrite as 2 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 2 squared. Now the reason I did this and rewrote 2 to the power of 18 minus 4 as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 2 squared is because now I can use an algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So that's why I rewrote 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 9 squared. I have a number squared, and that's why I rewrote 4 as 2 squared. So now, in this case, a is 2 to the power of 9, and b is 2. So I get 2 to the power of 9 plus 2 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 2. Now, if you already didn't know, 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. So I get 512 plus 2 times 512 minus 2. So 512 plus 2 is 514, and 512 minus 2 is 510. So I get 514 times 510. Now, what most people would do from here is just simply multiply these two like this, using the normal method. And although you would get the right answer, this takes way too long. So a simpler way of doing this is to rewrite these as 500 plus 14 times 500 plus 10. So I rewrote this as 500 plus some number because 500 is e easy to multiply with. So now I can distribute 500. So I get 500 squared plus 500 times 10 plus, and distribute 14, 14 times 500 plus 14 times 10. Now 500 squared, that's going to equal 250,000. 500 times 10 is 5,000. 14 times 500 is 7,500. And finally, 14 times 10 is 140. So now I can, all I have to do is simply add these up. So I get 250 thousand plus five thousand plus seventy five hundred is twelve thousand five hundred and then I have plus 140 at the end so now if I add all these up I should get two hundred and sixty two thousand 262,140.